to Long Arm Wednesday. We're very happy to see you here today. I am Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. We're working on a beautiful customer quilt today. Her name is Kathy. She has added uh, some lovely borders to a rail fence in, done in batik. So you can see that right here. Actually, let me show you the, so you can really see the detail of the borders. Okay, so some really nice big borders here. So it gives me a lot to play with. And this is one, uh, one of my customers that says, Laura Lynn, I, do, I love whatever you're doing. Just, just, just make her pretty and do whatever you want. So I could have easily just put an edge to edge all over this. I'm not really thought too much about it, but I thought let's try and highlight it a little bit. So we're gonna do three borders on this project. I've already done the first one with a bit of a feather and a, sw uh, a swirl um, border stitch out. It's quite lovely and it makes its way around the corners. The next two I'm actually sectioning out in the areas they need to be to. They don't, ha don't have any uh, corner stitch outs. Some is, one of it is actually a edge to edge stitch out, but it's, I've got this lovely space here to deal with. Uh, the same over on this side, this lovely space here to deal with, so I'm gonna put it in there. So let's get started. And all three should very complement uh, each other quite nicely. Okay, so let's get to new with Walt. And he's gonna do a fast, it's called loops. Loop to loop, and it just, oh, it's like the ribbon candy. It's the whole nicely beautiful stitch. I, th I would thought about doing this myself. But it's quite a stretch. Well, not that it would be a stretch because I could have put it here, but it's kind of a, a long, and I wanted to make sure it looked really as best as possible. So we, we leave, leave the professional stuff up to Walt. <laughs> Does a beautiful job. Uh, it is a sea green thread that we're using. I think it pops out quite nicely on the front here, the, the quilt top. It's got lots of lovely colors, and this course is like marbly textured here, and then this lovely green dotted back here, which is very much like is exactly the green scale of our blue one that we have here at the quilt shop. And then a lovely uh, wide back with uh, blue and marble, and I just thought the thread color would look really nice. It's kind of more of a, 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 a tealy aqua sort of on the back. I guess those are pretty much two totally, totally different colors, but you know, along this, the, the bluey kind of scale. And this shouldn't take too long to stitch out there. And then we're gonna put a dragonfly and bumblebee in this section. And then I have chosen to include, I'm not sure if you can see that whenever you get here, um, or maybe when I'm move, when, when it comes to hit down here, I'll show you this section here. I'm including this whole uh, middle section as part of my edge to edge stitch out what's gonna go in the center here. So, and that is butterflies with a leaf and swirl. So it kind of ties it all together. Especially with the dragonflies and the bees around the outside, the butterflies and leaves in the center, and then a lovely uh, swirl and feather on the outside edge with the, the ribbon candy, just kind of looping everything together. It's a lovely two, two inch strips, two inch strips here, or two and a half inch strips uh, sewn together uh, to help form out the board. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You don't always have to make really big projects with just the main uh, build of the quilts on the in, uh, the center of it. You can add border and border and border and make it a nice little lovely project. So it actually would sit right in the center of the bed and the borders just kind of fall over on the sides. You know, if you're limited on time, there's certainly one way to do it. Beautiful. I love that swirl, that purpley, um, with the green, I just, I'm just loving this. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I wonder what line that is. It's also in the quilt project too. Oh, I noticed she's got stickers still on her rose. <laughs> That's okay, I'll deal with that. We want to stitch through them, that's for sure. I did that once on a charity quilt. I didn't know what, it, I didn't see it. And then only as I was folding it or something like, cause it was on a white spot and it I used white thread to stitch through it. And only as I was folding, I felt this like, what, what is that? So I picked, it was a sticker, but you know, it just got perforated and I peeled it all off. So it, was, it wasn't a big deal, but totally, totally missed it on one of those charity quilts. <laughs> all right, it's almost done. It's gonna go all the way to the end. So I did follow the length of the strips. I didn't cut it off here where the other strip section meets up to it. I could have, and then just continued uh, the ribbon this way. But uh, I decided to go all the way to the end and then I'll do it on this way when I, go, when I turn the quilt. Because yeah, when, and when it comes to this sort of situation, you have to take it off once you've done all that you can on this one section, like the, the way you're working it this way, and then flip it and start doing the others. Okay. Beautiful, I love that green. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you can see right here is the 
uh, feather and swirl stitch out that we're using here and how beautiful it shows up with that colored thread. And look how, how pretty that lays right on that, that creamy colored, uh, the 80, 80, 20 cotton batting. All right, so we're gonna scoot our way over here. Do, 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 and you can see here, oh, there's a sticker. Let's get rid of those so you don't forget. Okay. And like I said, I'm including this whole part from here all the way over, even onto this part too, as part of the center stitch out. When it goes to stitch out the butterflies and the leaves, I think it's going to look quite lovely with this thread color coming into the white, forming the leaves, forming parts of the butterflies and some of the swirls. So I, I think it's just going to put it all together and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's go down here. So where Walt's going to start in this section here, you can see where the seam is. So I could have extended my pattern to here, but I just kind of decided to follow the seams that she had already going. So when I go to twist the quilt and put it the other way, I'll make sure it stitches this way. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Hold those threads. Oh, that's my stitch over on the other side. I don't usually do that. That's weird. Now, this is a dragonfly super easy with just a little bit of a loop. And I thought the loops of the dragonfly wings would still help copy the top part out there. And like I said, there's a little loop that comes in here and then it does a little bumblebee. And it's very simple. It's a very nice section for this stitch out to happen. Because it's just almost the size of a dragonfly. Yeah, it does uh, two dragonflies and a bumblebee, and it just repeats. And I think I set this one for six stitch outs during this section. So it's not a very big stitch out. It's good for borders. It's also good for the center of quilts. It's, it's a nice loose stitch out one. It's very basic, just does the simple shape of the uh, dragonfly and then the simple shape of the bumblebee. Or butterfly, I guess you could take it as a butterfly. I was looking at it to me, it looked like a bumblebee. And just enough pop, like I picked one of the colors from in here that I thought would look really nice on the overall quilt, considering this is like the big thick border that's uh, surrounding the center part, right? Like I said, then I got a butterfly. Uh, we've seen that with stitch out here done before, but maybe I'll still get a little bit of footage of it so you can see it. So stay tuned to the end so you can see all the stitch outs that we got going on. Um, and, uh, and it's just gonna look so beautiful. So beautiful. And just that such a little depth of texture, right? You can just really feel the, feel how it all just kind of comes together, little swirls. Beautiful. And then a bumblebee. That's gonna go on to the third one. Four, five, six. Yeah, there's. <laughs> Beautiful projects to work on. I love the batiks. I like the mix of batiks and regular fabrics coming together. Um, I think it um, does a it does a lot for a quilt. It not uh, not everything has to be batik, and not everything has to be just 100% uh, quilting cottons either. So the fact that we, we can mix the two and how different they are, I think really plays with each other. Yeah, it must have been a, like maybe a couple jelly rolls or something like that, but it's certainly, certainly cute. Love, love the colors. Let me get all that sticker off. And I'm, I'm matching my project today too. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Gotta love it when you match a project. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so hopefully this inspires you. It's a beautiful rail fence right in the center of this project, bordered up a few times, and then given a nice big thick border all the way around using fabrics that was like, you know, like it, probably like I said, a jelly roll. Um, or a couple jelly rolls, I would think, to, to make this all go around, and how all the little borders around the edges are different colors. It just brings it all together. It's a beautiful, beautiful project.
you want to start something but don't want to make a big one, do nice, a nice center part that you're comfortable with that maybe like a lap size and then just slap some borders on it. I can only suggest is that you do a measure on both sides as you're going, always measure, measure, and get it, cut your fabric right on and, and pin it and sew it too. Don't just sew your fabric on. It's never gonna get you some straight edges. You're gonna get some waves and unless you're making an ocean quilt. Let's, let's, let's try and do it nice and square. All right, stay tuned for some more footage of the butterfly leaf and swirl stitch out in the center just shortly after this. And uh, you all have an amazing day. Thank you very much. And the biggest hugs to you. And we'll see you real soon. Okay? Take care, everybody.